Hello friends, greeting from Business Consulting. In today's training, we are going to learn ERP, that means Enterprise Resource Planning. So what we are going to do, we are going to start a training session where we will be providing training related to SAP production planning. So you can consider this training as the first training if you want to learn SAP production planning module. So prior moving to SAP you should know what does ERP stand for, why we need to implement ERP, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages of ERP. So in today's training, we are going to look, we are going to understand the business structure, the basic business scenario we are going to see, we are going to see why we require ERP, what are the benefit of ERP, what are the advantage and disadvantages of ERP. Now all the companies have certain strategies they all have strategies like how to grow the business how to satisfy the customer more and more how to outcompete the rivals in the market and how to achieve the strategic and financial objective As you can see, this is a simple business process or we can say that this is a simple supply chain management process which encompasses the planning and procurement of different raw material. As you can see, the supplier is supplying the raw material to the manufacturer. Manufacturer is producing the material and providing it to, to the distributor now it's the responsibility of the distributor to send it to the retailers now we the common people we used to go to the shops we used to go to different shops to buy the product so supply chain management we can say that this is the process which is start when we procure the material when a company procure the material and ends when this product reaches to the customer so this is an end to end cycle of supply chain management now what does ERP mean? ERP stands for enterprise resource planning we can say that ERP is a software solution or ERP is a tool for managing information. It's fully integrated real-time system. ERP is an information system that attempts to integrate all the department and functions across a company onto a single computer system that can serve all those different department particular need with the right enterprise resource planning software all your business process comes together for easy collaborations and rapid decision making to enhance your team's overall productivity so ERP is a centralized business process which connect each module of the business from which we can get the real-time information in ERP E stands for enterprise so we can say that an enterprise is a group of people with a common goal which has certain resources 
at its disposal to achieve that goal. R stands for resources. So resources included are money, machine, labor, and all other things that are required to run the enterprise. P stands for planning, which is done to ensure that nothing goes wrong. So that's why it's termed as enterprise resource planning. Now, why we need ERP? Why big companies or small companies they are buying ERP software? What is the need of ERP? So initially, we can say that to know what is happening in the company, we need ERP. So management uses ERP software tool to get the real time information ERP is also used to reduce the cycle time to achieve the cost control to satisfy the customer with high expectations so this is like a one solution for better management Now, before implementing ERP, as you can see, in an enterprise or in a company, there are various departments. Like, there is procurement department, purchasing department, sales department, excise department, HR department, production planning department, process development department. So. So there are different department prior implementing ERP this all department seems to be like an island each department seems to be like an island which do not communicate with each other so major problem with this decentralized system was that there were numerous de-separate information system so individual department were having their own system which do not communicate with another system here integrating the data becomes more ta time consuming and money consuming also there was a big problem of inconsistency of data and duplicacy of the data now because of this, because of lack of timely information, it leads to the customer dissatisfaction which at last lead to loss of revenue to the company as well as loss of reputation. Also because of this decentralized system in a manufacturing industry there could be high inventory material or human resource required now to overcome all this problem we need a solution and this solution lies in a centralized system which is known as ERP that is enterprise resource planning as now here you can see there is one common database and all the department data are stored in this one common database and all the department can access or can see a real time information so this is a centralized ERP here data are maintained at central location and is shared with various department so departments have access information of other department because of which it can increase the revenue and customer delight and there will be no data duplicacy in the centralized ERP it 
it used to gather all your information in one unique information system in one one database we can say to manage your production your sales your stock your procurement hr accounting and many more because of which your company pro productivity get increases risk of error decreases and you can enjoy real time information to manage your business this is erp system architecture as we have seen that we have a common repository where the data of each module each department used to stored in one repository and where the department can access the information of another department that to a real time information now to implement the erp there are five phases the first phase is defining an analysis or we can say definition and analysis second one is the design phase third is build phase fourth is transaction phase and fifth is production phase so these are the five phases or these are the five step to implement the erp in any of the company now you can see a picture so this is an office before erp so everything you are doing manually everything is hodgepodge all the files are like there is a mess huge mess if you are going to ask that please provide me of this file or that file it's very difficult it's it's not in in a lean lean what what you can say that it's it's like a disaster without an erp and after implementing erp you can see the condition of office now everything is in process everything is systematic so there are various benefit of erp whenever you are implementing erp it provides you many benefits so the first one is that erp can improve quality and efficiency of business erp supports upper level management by providing information for decision making that we have already discussed that it provide the real time information erp creates a more agile company that adapts better to change also erp can improve the data security it provide it increase the opportunity for collaborations with this benefits there always come some disadvantage so the first disadvantage is customization can be problematic there can be huge customization we are we need to integrate all the modules all the department of an enterprise and this is really very difficult erp can cost more whenever you are implementing erp the first thing comes what will be the cost and believe me the cost to implement erp is like a small company cannot implement erp if you are going to implement sap it can cost you like millions of rupees another disadvantage is that extensive training need to provide to the vendors or to the client for their daily operations there could be many transactions which will be built and we need to provide training to the client and this is like we need to provide a extensive training 
we need to provide support now here comes ERP software companies and their market shares so there is a company SAP which is termed as system application and product and data processing this is the third largest software company and it's famous for its ERP product and the name of that ERP product is also SAP so SAP is the company name as well as the product name so it is the leader in the ERP industry almost most of the fortune 500 companies have SAP implemented and you can see in this graph 24% are occupied by SAP now there comes another vendor oracle which used to provide ERP software so oracle do have their own ERP system also they have acquired JD Edward PeopleSoft there are an another ERP vendors like Ban, Microsoft, Dynamics so there are many vendor and there are many small vendors which you can see here in the others but SAP is the leader in the ERP software industry these are the vendors of ERP SAP, Oracle, BAN, PeopleSoft, Microsoft Dynamics, JD Edwards so this was all about enterprise resource planning there is a small assignment if you want to learn you want to go thoroughly through this ERP you should go to this all seven topics the first one is business cycle you should understand a business cycle how does a business process flow work also second point is centralized and decentralized system you should have a complete knowledge of that what are the benefit of ERP why there is need to implement ERP fourth one is ERP security you should go you can google it collect all the information regarding this topics you should know regarding ERP implementation cycle what all phases are there while we implement ERP what are the time required to implement ERP and different ERP vendors so this are the seven questions which you should go and you should study so this was all about ERP if you like our video please press the like button please share our video comment and subscribe to our channel if you face any difficulty you can just mail us at businessconsulting007 at the rate gmail.com so this is your first step to proceed further to learn SAP production planning module thank you so much